Many people have a love-hate relationship with the Boeing 767 and it's quite unfortunate that this is the case because my very first memories were of the American 767 with the chrome livery in the film of Home Alone. Every Christmas the film is aired on TV and it takes me back to a time when I fell in love with the plane. But the unfortunate reality is, is that the plane is slowly becoming more and more obsolete. With the arrival of far more fuel efficient aircraft like the 787 Dreamliner and also the Airbus A330neo, many airlines are looking towards a fleet renewal and retiring their older aircraft such as the 767. British Airways has already retired the 767 fleet, American is in the process and Delta is also following the same step. The latest member to follow this trend is Hawaiian Airlines, with them operating their last 767 flight. Although many people will be saddened by this news, we did see it coming. The airline decided to retire their 767s all the way back in 2010 when they took delivery of their first Airbus A330. More hammers were blown to the 767 when the airline decided to order the 787 Dreamliner and also the A321neo due to their improved fuel efficiency and fleet optimization. So in terms of the last flight, well, it was operated by the 767-300ER with the registration shown on screen. It departed from Sacramento, which is in California, in the morning of 7th of January, and it was flying to Honolulu as flight number 19. This particular aircraft has been flying with the airline since 2006, when they purchased it from Delta Airlines. But their very first aircraft of that type was taken all the way back in 2001, so they have an extensive history operating the plane for many years. Designed as a smaller wide-body plane compared to the likes of the 747, they ordered more of the planes, using them to replace their aging Douglas DC-10s. It was in 2007 when they operated 18 of the planes which was at their peak. During that time they operated 4 of the 300 model and 14 of the 300 ERs. So it goes without saying that this fleet optimization has played a huge role in the airline's international expansion in the last 10 years. After that came the introduction of more fuel efficient aircraft and the appearance of the 767 began to go downhill from there. In the early part of this decade, they acquired the first of what has become a fleet of 24 A330s. Then in 2018, they ordered 10 of the 787-9 Dreamliners. But the fate of the 767 was ultimately sealed when in 2013, they ordered 16 of the A321neos as a direct replacement. They received their first A321neo in late 2017, however due to engine problems of the new planes, deliveries had to be put on the hold for quite a while, which forced the airline to use the plane for a tiny bit longer and even bring in one 767 back into temporary service. Although the sight of the 767 is becoming less apparent, at least in the commercial side of aviation, the plane does still have a good number of years left in her yet, and it will continue flying with other airlines. United Airlines purchased three of Hawaiian 767s, Air Canada Rouge also operates four of the former Hawaiian 767s, and Azor Air Russia will place another four into service this year. So guys, if you have a chance to fly on the plane, then I suggest that you do so before the plane disappears from commercial aviation entirely. So thank you so much for watching captains, by all means do share your experiences with us if you've flown on the 767 and how your journey was. If you have any opinions or thoughts, then do share them in the comments below. Leave a like and also consider subscribing and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.